Like, it is super flattering. I don't know, y'all. There's something about it that just feels off to me, giving me what it needs to be giving. I bought a thousand dollars worth of Lululemon clothes. Let's get started. Okay, so I don't want any judgment, all right, y'all, but I'm definitely that type of person where if I like something, I buy it in every single color, especially when it goes on sale. So that is the all aligned muff neck long sleeve shirt. I got it in black. I got it in white opal. I got it in natural ivory. I got it in red merlot. I'm wearing it literally right now in another color in brown. I love this top and I'm hoping they're not discontinuing the top because they've pretty much gotten rid of all the colors because if they get rid of this top, I'm gonna be really, really sad, okay? The original retail price is $78, so it is, it's up there. Um, the sale price is $54. The size that I got in the darker colors is the size eight. And then I ended up getting the white opal and the natural ivory in size 10 because the size eight was sold out. I'm in between the eight and the 10 in tops for the most part, especially right now because I'm bulking. The fabric breakdown for these tops are 90% nylon, 10% like elastin. It's technically considered Nulu fabric, so they're famous align leggings are made out of Nulu and that's what this stuff is made out of. These are technically created for on the move, so more of a casual everyday type of top. I love dressing this up, I go out in this. We have the all aligned mock neck. This is in the color natural ivory and I love this top you guys. It's a tight to body fit. This mock neck is very very light so I don't ever feel like I'm choking. It's just, oh it's such a good top. It, it's soft. I can like literally move in this top which is really nice. Definitely not sheer which I'm very very surprised of because usually the light colors can be a tad bit sheer. Here we have the red merlot color. This one is in a size eight, so I did get both black and the red in a size eight. This one feels a little bit more fitted in the arms, but it's not uncomfortably fitted. So again, in between an eight and a 10. We'll say that at least in the eight part, the neck feels like it looks a little bit more true to size. The, the 10, the neck area was kind of like lo a little looser. This is white opal and honestly, I did not need natural ivory and white opal. They're very, very similar. Like where the heck is the other one? If, when I hold these two like this, you can tell that obviously natural ivory is way more like yellow tone and white opal is more like creamy. Keep that in mind, this was 100% impulsive. I just really love this shirt. White opal is a bit more sheer than the natural ivory color, so just keep that in mind. I'm glad I sized up in this one because of the sheerness factor of it. I absolutely love this color and I love how the combination of this whole fit is giving me what it needs to be giving. The next thing we have are the City Sleek Five Pocket High Rise Wide Leg Pant. This is their light Utilitec pant. I love this pant. The fact that they've branched into kind of athleisure and more like working from home type of fits, things that are like you can wear but they're still comfortable but you still kind of look put together is my vibe because I absolutely despise work pants and the fact that I like these and they fit and they feel comfortable, which is a huge thing, is very, very good. Not for my wallet, but very good in general. The color is roasted brown. The original retail price for this is $128. Sale price was $99. The size that I got is 29 and Lululemon does sizing like by numbers, two, four, six, ten, 10, things like that in their women's range. But this is based off of your waist. So it can be a little bit confusing. Whatever size you get in jeans is for the most part gonna be the same in this type of style of pant. The fabric breakdown for this is 46% elastomultiester. Yeah, 40% <laughs> cotton and 14% elastin. These are very stretchy, probably the only work style business casual pants that you can squat in comfortably and not rip a hole in them. Trust me, these are very, very good. And I have the City Sleek Wide Leg Utilitec pant. It has become one of my favorite pants from Lululemon. Like the wide leg is literally perfect. I don't have to hem them, I'm 5'5", five five, so I feel like this is like the perfect length for me. The fabric is so stretchy, but still very comfortable, but and still kind of looks like it's put together. There is a little bit of waist gapping right here in the back, but to be honest, I'm okay with that because then when you're like moving and bending down, the pant will be slightly more comfortable than if it was like super tight. And then when you're like sitting down, it's basically digging into your stomach. So I'm okay with there being very little, 
but it's just a tad you know it's noticeable but it's not like so noticeable that it looks crazy especially if you like wear a belt and i'm really surprised that they're not completely sold out you can literally squat in these pants i didn't hear a rip it felt perfectly fine i don't feel uncomfortable it's very light fabric so honestly i could wear these in the summer in very humid weather and still feel okay the modal fleece long sleeve hoodie this is a cropped hoodie and very very soft fabric this is on the move okay you could probably wear this like to the gym over a light top but i don't know if i would like do any high intensity stuff in this just because it's technically not really meant for that the size i got in it was 10 because this is a more of a tight to body type of fit the original retail for this was 98 dollars, but it was on sale for 69 the fabric is 93 percent lensing modal seven percent elastin in this and then the rib is also a different percentage so we have 66 percent lensing modal 28 percent cotton and six percent elastin this is super soft, but something I would 100% dress up and just go out and look nice in it, okay? <laughs> that is my vibe for all 2023. I just want to be comfortable and look put together. The long sleeve modal hoodie or modal fleece, fleece modal long sleeve hoodie. Technically a crop, so it's like right here at like my natural waist. Love how this feels. Very warm. So definitely something that I would wear in the winter months or in the colder fall not in the summer this in the summer you're gonna be drenched in sweat especially if you live in a humid terrain okay i love the details i love the hood this hood is not like heavy so it's not like choking me which is really nice like this is <laughs> this is a look it has thumb holes the sleeves do feel just a tad bit long on me like i'm 5'5 five five because like the sleeve literally starts from here that is pretty interesting that the sleeve cuff is literally halfway down my forearm <laughs> it literally felt like i had my hair tie like all the way up here and that's why i was like what the heck <laughs> another top that i literally probably buy almost every single color it comes out in because again once you love something it just yeah this is the it's rulu run cropped half zip the color is psychic i got some leggings in this color for black friday so i had to pick up a matching top to try to make a matching set original retail is 108 dollars sale price was 74. the fabric for this is 92 percent recycled nylon and eight percent lycra elastin at least in the body and this is technically a top that's made for running so it has also the little reflective details like in the cuffs i love the cropped half zip detail this fabric actually keeps me fairly fairly warm in winter months so this is when I pull this one out. I feel like I would probably overheat in this in the summer, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for them. Ready to Rulu half sip. This is in the color Psychic. I would say this is technically a cropped top, right? But for me, when I pull this down, it kind of comes like right here. If you have a longer torso, it probably would be more cropped. But for me, it's like right here where the waistband <laughs> kind of starts. Very warm fabric, has the reflective details here in this area so if you are running um any light on here will reflect it so you'll be good to go i like that it also has kind of like a mitten type of cuff in the on the sleeve so which is really nice this is meant for running which i am not mad at because i don't necessarily run anymore i'm working out in the basement and it's cold these come in handy okay the, this little part of the zipper it kind of like pokes me in my neck which can be a bit uncomfortable which is why they have like this little detail here to cover that zipper so when it's like completely zipped you're good. That little piece of cloth kind of protects that from happening. It's a winter top. I would not recommend wearing this in the summer because you're going to be sweating profusely because it's such a warm fabric. It's actually a really nice staple piece that Lululemon offers, especially if you're a runner and you need kind of warmer pieces. I would definitely check this one. I have the Energy High Neck Long Line Tough Bra which seems like they might be getting rid of or discontinuing. Anytime black and white go on sale, pretty much that means that they're either redoing this or getting rid of it. The original retail price for these bras are $68. The sale price is $29. I got a size 10 in these. This is a medium support bra. So something I would wear for like CrossFit or to go running in or doing any high intensity stuff. Definitely the type of support that you would want. The fabric, at least in the body kind of area, is nylon, lycra, elastin, and it does have some polyester in it. It had something called Cool Max Polyester, which I'm not familiar with, but it's pretty interesting concept. So this bra is technically for, I believe, BD cups. So if you're in that range, these are the types of bras for you. It does also have the removable cups on the inside. So if you need to remove the cups, you can. Based off of where it hits me, like a just 
a tank top um, or a crop top. Very, very, very compressive, medium support technically, but it's feeling because of the high neck, a little bit more high support to me. This is technically in their tough fabric, so it should hold up for like rougher workouts or whatever. Now, I do wish I would have tried a size 12 in this just because I feel like I am spilling out a lot in the lats. And I, I do wish this was like cut a little bit higher maybe because of the fabric that's why they they have it this cut it's not bad like, but it is definitely something i would wear when i'm doing like more high intensity stuff and i need the support because everyday wear is not the purpose of this bra okay this is definitely that bra where you're gonna go run you're gonna go do some hit you're gonna do box jumps you're gonna be jumping rope and you don't need these things moving you know what i mean you don't wear this bra when you're just trying to casually go out because it is very compressive. You're gonna have that support. So if you need it, I would definitely grab something in this style. The Align High Neck Tank Top. This one has a built-in bra in it and I believe the built-in bra is for CD. The color is Tide Water Teal, which is just a nice greenish, bluish color. The original retail price for this is $68. The sale price was $39. I got it in a size 10. And the fabric breakdown is 81% nylon, 19% lycra elastin. This is technically because it's a line franchise, it would be similar to the line leggings, so like new loose. It's honestly super soft. I would not run in any of these tops because it just doesn't have the support in it. Definitely something you can literally do an arm day in or just like maybe like a leg day where you're not like bouncing around too much or just casual, which is the reason why I purchased it to wear it casually, to dress it up. The Align High Neck Tank. This is in the color Tidewater Teal, size 10. Really fitting a bit more snug than my other size 10. Um, I'm wondering if it's just because I've been bulking, that might be it. Pretty, pretty snug. I would have definitely liked to try on a size 12, and I think I will try to try on a size 12 because the bra is fitting pretty snug. Overall, though, it's really, really nice. I like the high neck. I like kind of where it's cutting. Um, it is giving a little bit of like scrunching or whatever you want to call it. So I definitely want to try a size up in this. This is technically meant for CD cups. So I'm hoping if I size up, it won't have a ton of like gapping in this area. We'll see. So now we have a few new favorites are the Base Pace ribbed tank top. I am pleasantly surprised by this tank top. I didn't think at first I was gonna like it, but when I tried it on, I was surprised. Now the colors that I got were Smoke Spruce, which is just like a dark kind of muted green, and then Psychic, which is like a nice blue color. Original retail for this was $58. The sale price was $39. I got a size 10 on both of these because they're more of a tight to body type of tank. The fabric breakdown is 84% nylon, 16% elastin. Now this tank top was made for high sweat activities. This is a running tank top, so something you would wear over a sports bra. I've worn this to CrossFit in another style and another color, and I've absolutely loved wearing it. It's super light fabric. You're not going to feel like when you're sweating in it, it's gonna feel heavy, which is like super annoying, especially when you're running. I have the Base Pace ribbed tank. This is in the color Smoked Spruce. I actually really, really like this tank top. I love the fabric. I believe this is technically New Lux fabric, so it's very light, very slick, very stretchy, very, very sweat wicking. And I love the cut of the tank. This is the cut that I wish some of their high neck bras would have. Like, it's pretty high, but the fabric isn't like rough, so it's not gonna cause any chafing, which is really nice. So that it covers more of the arm, because what I've noticed with other tops is that I'll spill, like my lats will spill out if this cut is a lower. Personal preference here, I do like how high this comes up. This is a ribbed fabric. You can feel the ribs, kind of like a scoop type of design. This is the base paste tank in the color Psychic, and blue is my color, y'all. Like, I don't care what anybody says, blue is my color. This Psychic has like a little hint of a purple hue in it. Love, love this blue. Now I have like a full matching set. Now all I'm missing is a bra, and we've made it. Okay. I would run in this. I would definitely do hit in this, any type of hit, any high sweat, workouts seams are beautiful like you're not going to chafe in this if you're not going to have to worry about any of the seams getting in your way we feel like people have to feel the fabrics that lululemon offers in order for them to understand kind of like the quality of it another item that i got in several different colors so we have the ready rulu high rise straight leg pants Straight legs are making a comeback y'all i can't believe it i'm not mad at it though because they look cute the colors that i got were black 
roasted brown, and I also got smoked spruce, which is in the dirty laundry, okay? The original retail is $108. They were on sale for Boxing Day for $79. I have a size 8 in all three colors. The fabric breakdown is 92% recycled nylon, 8% like our last in. These are a lounge straight leg pant. You could wear these out as well, like if you're gonna go run errands. Very, very soft, very, very light fabric. Love, love this Rulu franchise. It's one of my favorites. These are literally the perfect work from home pant because you still kind of look put together, but you're comfortable. I'm telling you, the Rulu is like some of the softest fabric I've ever felt. Now, my favorite pants of this entire haul are the Ready to Rulu straight leg pant. These pants are very thin, okay? So this fabric is not very heavy. It is a very thin fabric, but it is so soft. It is so comfortable. Like, it is super flattering. Very, very nice. The details are really nice as well. Like, there's like a little metal kind of like pieces on the end of the strings here. Tiny little mesh pocket on the inside. Pretty decent length, honestly, considering my height. So I personally wouldn't need to hem these whatsoever. The waistband is pretty good as well in terms of tummy control again these are like joggers and light pants if you're not wearing a waistband that starts like here and then comes up to here then you're not really gonna have too much bonsai protection but for the most part these are lounge pants and even though they don't have any support in this area they're still not like cinched so hard in the waist but it's like making everything pop out. I love these pants and I am so happy that I got them in three colors, okay? <laughs> like, look at this roasted brown color. Like, this is so nice, okay? Roasted brown and black, and then I also have the green, which is dirty, uh, so I can't show you that right now, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brown. Get more of a hint of red in this brown. So not super, super neutral, but I don't hate the brown. Like, it's not like orangey. Yeah, I'm really excited about these pants, y'all. Like. These are very nice. So, so nice. Like the perfect lounge pant. The lounge full straight leg pant, which I'm actually wearing right now. <laughs> so the color is Heathered Core Ultra Light Gray. Very, 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 very light. Honestly, you could probably pass this off as like a white with like gray speckles in it. The original retail is $118. The sale price was $89. The size that I got was $8. And then the body is 73% cotton, 24% polyester, and 3% elastin. These are some of the softest and warmest jogger pants that I have ever purchased. They're very warm. Like I honestly sometimes heat up in these pants. When you feel these pants, they feel like plushy like a nice soft plushiness i love this franchise so so much this is the lounge full straight leg pant i'm five five so i could essentially take these in to get them hemmed a little bit but honestly i think i'm okay with the length unless it's like dragging and like getting dirty then that's when i'll probably hem it super super comfortable very plush very warm. I even have like a little tiny pocket on the inside of this pocket. The only complaint that I have about these pants is because they're light, you can kind of see the outline of the pocket, which can bug a lot of people. And to be honest, it kind of bugs me too that the light pant is doing this and you can kind of see the outline of the pocket, which I'm not a huge fan of that. But for at home purposes, going and running errands, I'm not, you know, going to be mad at a little bit of an outline, you know what I mean? Right here was pretty interesting, like these little lines here in this area, and I'm just assuming it's how the item was composed, like in the factory, how they sewed it up. Not really sure why they had to do this, and it doesn't like connect the whole way. These are a high-waisted jogger. In terms of like stomach control, most joggers that I have and that I own don't have any of this kind of protection. So if you need bonsa protection, this isn't really it. But at the same time, when you're wearing joggers, it is what it is. We have the whole tight short sleeve. This is in the color green jasper, which has literally become one of my favorite colors that Lululemon has right now. This green is so beautiful. It's like a jewel tone green, and I absolutely love this color. The original retail price is $58. The sale price is $39. I get this shirt in a size 10. It is a tight to body type of shirt. Fabric is 94% lensing modal, modal, however they want to say it, 6% elastin. The softest fabric that you will feel. We have the whole tight shirt, which I love. I love the whole tight collection. It is very, very good. Super soft, and I really wish y'all could feel the fabric through the camera because it is some of the softest fabric 
that Lululemon makes. Now this is the length of the shirt on me. So as you can tell, it is pretty long and it does have like the logo here. And so I do wish that they would put this little cuff logo thing here on the sleeve instead, because once I hem the shirt, like if I wanted to hem it a few inches, like even two inches, it's gonna cut this off and then the logo's gone. Just a little side note that I wish either move it or put it here in the back, who knows. For the most part, what I do is I just kind of tuck the shirt in and that's how I would mediate the issue of it looking too long. This is something that, again, you wouldn't necessarily work out in this. This is definitely on the move casual definitely business casual something you wear every day super super comfortable not constricting you're you're able to get full range of motion it has that four-way stretch in it here we have some aligned shorts this is in the color gray sage the inseam for these shorts are six inches the original retail price for the shorts are $64. The sale price was $39. I get a size 8 in the shorts. The body is 81% nylon, 19% lycra elastin. Now we have the Align shorts. These are the 6 inch shorts. They are very, very comfortable. They fit very, very nicely. The waistband is very smooth and so it literally kind of like sits very flat on the waist. It's not digging in. These aren't meant to be compressive. I love the Align shorts. They're very, very nice. I do not feel the seams on the inside. I do feel them here on the outside, but I don't feel them on the inner side of the legging, which is really nice. Band here isn't really digging into my thighs like crazy, which is really nice. They also have this kind of like V taper on the glutes to accentuate the glutes. They are not sheer for the most part, but I will say that these lighter colors do show panty lines. I would not run in these tights because they're not technically abrasion resistant fabric, but I could definitely get away with working out in these in the gym. Very light, maybe an arm day here and there, definitely lounging, going to and from. But for me, I feel like they don't sweat with as good as like a wonder train. For me, any type of high sweaty workouts, I prefer a wonder train for things that I know I'm not gonna like profusely sweat and I just need something to feel comfortable in, I pick a lines. I'm not getting any crazy camel toe even though there's a seam straight in the middle. Is the Ed to Street short sleeve shirt. Now this has a built-in bra on the inside and I believe the bra is for CDs. The color is green jasper. The original retail price for this is $78, but the sale price is 54. The size that I got in this is a size 10. The fabric is a combination of nylon and elastin. And the reason why I say that is because different parts of this shirt are different percentages of nylon and elastin. It's in this green jasper color, which is really, really pretty and I really like it. And this is something that you can actually train in but then you can literally wear to and from places. And I believe that's the purpose of this top. Now we have the Ebta Street shirt. This one has a built-in bra in it. And honestly, the built-in bra in this shirt is not my favorite. Even though I feel like the shirt fits, like I don't feel crazy in it, there's something about the built-in bra that just kind of feels a little small. The Ebta Street bra is made for like BC or CD cups. And I'm like an AB, but like obviously wider rib cage, wide lats. So... You know, I don't necessarily fill the cups, but the bands are always really tight on me. So I don't know. I like the material of this. I like that I can definitely work out in this top. It's very stretchy. I feel like I have full range of motion in it, but I de something about this bra, the built-in, I feel like needs work. Because right here in this area, it is feeling a little snug. But again, I got big arms, y'all, so it might just be that. And then I feel like I have gapping here in this area. I'm on the fence with this top. I don't hate it, but I'm not in love with the top. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I'm really trying to love this shirt, but there's something about it that just feels off to me. All right, so now we have the water repellent fleece hiking vest. This is in the color black. The retail price for this was $118, but it was on sale for $69. I got it in a size eight, and this is very, very interesting. So it's not just like a regular vest. It has like a fleece lining on the inside that's like cubed or squared very very interesting vest at first i was like mm, i don't know if i'm gonna like this but it's honestly very very nice definitely something i would like to wear like on walks and just something kind of like to level up the look you know what i mean right this is the water repellent hiking vest and surprisingly i really like the fit of this 
It's actually very, very cute. This is how it looks opened. It has kind of like this inner fleece lining that's like squared, which is really interesting. It feels pretty heavy duty. So I definitely feel if I got stuck out in the rain in this, like water would just kind of like repel off. I feel like the design is missing a zipper here. You know what I mean? For like a little pocket in this area. I like that the logo is giving me kind of like outdoorsy vibes it's not like the traditional lululemon logo which is really nice this is technically a part of their hiking collection that's why the logo looks a bit different this right here is pretty interesting definitely a vest where it's not like snug in the arms so if that bugs you like having a little gap right here that might bug you but like for me i feel like it's nice because i feel like if I'm hiking or anything or doing anything like that, it's giving me full range of motion. I don't know if I would run in this. Like I would not run in this type of vest personally. I feel like it's definitely more like an outdoorsy, rugged type of vest. So this is definitely, I'm going out for some walks. I just need another light layer. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. It is very stylish. Okay, very, very stylish vest.